Okay, so we're going to talk now about the structure for uh, the introduction of a scientific paper. Oops. So basically the idea is uh, that the introduction in this, and again, this is not the only way of doing this, but uh, this is a way that works. Um, it has basically four uh, what we call text blocks. In a text block is uh, a chunk of text that uh, has one single purpose, one single rhetor uh, uh, rhetoric pro purpose or uh, rhetorical purpose. Um, so it doesn't really matter what the content is. Uh, it just matters that uh, it focuses on one single argument. So what exactly do I mean by arguments? So in the case of the introduction, you know, the traditional four tax blocks for the introduction are number one, to start with the significance. Number two, uh, to present a gap. Number three, to do a literature review in support of this gap. And then uh, number four, uh, to present the objective. So let's discuss a little bit about you know, what each one of these things mean. So first of all, uh, in relation to the significance, uh, the first step you want to make or First, step, uh, first thing you want to accomplish is to state that the area that you are investigating is of importance. So let's say, for example, that you are talking about uh, myocardial infarction, okay, so cardiology or cardiovascular surgery. Uh, so you could say, for example, you know, the number of people that die in the United States every year because of myocardial infarction. Um, you could say, uh, you know, how much, uh, how the, the rates of myocardial infarction are increasing over time. Uh, so basically, the idea is to present a fact that's very important. And in uh, uh, scientific papers, whenever you talk about a fact, necessarily you're talking about presenting a reference, right? So it has to have a reference. Uh, and it has to be something that really impacts upon the reader. So the reader has to be impressed that that uh, thing is really, really important. Uh, number two, uh, you know, you move on to the gap. Now, what is the gap? The gap uh, is the essence of an original paper. If you are talking about a, an original paper, necessarily you are talking about uh, a gap. Uh, there's no way you can write an original paper unless you are talking about something that has never been done. Never been done before. And the reason why you establish that at the very beginning, so soon after the significance, is because you want to signal to your reader where exactly you are going. If you start you know, with a literature review and you don't tell them exactly where you're going, they're going to be paying attention or trying to guess where you're going and they're going to uh, uh, miss your main arguments. So you want to be explicit. You want to guide your, uh, 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 your reader. So basically the idea here is that you're going to tell them, uh, you know, you created a, a, a momentum by saying, well, uh, this uh, topic is extremely important and now you're gonna you know give them a negative message meaning this is really important however there is an important gap okay and uh, as we said before this is the second point that you're making soon after the significance now next step after the gap and I'm making things here a little out of order but that's okay uh, you go with the literature review in support of the gap. Now, this is probably the area where novice researchers usually make most of their mistakes. Uh, and the reason here is uh, because they try in the literature review to do, uh, to review everything that exists about the topic. And that's a big mistake. The role of the literature review in the introduction 
in the introduction, I'm not talking about the discussion here, but the role of the literature review in the introduction is not to educate the reader. It's not to educate the reader. Uh, it is, instead, to convince the reader that the gap indeed exists. Okay? All you're trying to do with your introduction is to state the importance of the gap. So how do you do that with the, the literature review? Uh, so basically, you know, if you consider this circle here, you know, this central portion to be your gap, uh, in the surrounding area of the gap, uh, you know, there will be several things that you know about the field. So say if you're talking about uh, whatever, you know, an intervention for myocardial infarction, so a stent for myocardial infarction, you know, you might know about several different things uh, that uh, are related to predictors of outcome in relation to uh, myocardial infarction. Or you might know about several things related to, uh, for example, from a biological perspective, in relation to that stent. However, uh, in your gap, in this case, what's the impact of that specific stent on myocardial infarction, you don't know. So basically what you do is that you review what you know about the outcome or the predictor, in other words, the border uh, of that uh, uh, gap. But then every time you talk about something that you know, you keep coming back to the point that you don't know. So again, the role of the literature review in this case is to reinforce the existence of the gap, uh, not to educate the reader. And uh, basically, this is the third step of the introduction. And then, basically, you close your uh, introduction with the objective. Now, see if you, f you know, if we if we do this together. If you uh, started by saying that the point was important. Number two, you stated that there was a gap. Number three, uh, you know, next rational or sensible uh, step. Uh, you are reinforcing the true existence of that gap by providing a literature review uh, that goes on the border of that gap. Uh, what do you think your objective should be? So it, it's natural that it should be exactly whatever will fill that gap. And this is basically exactly what it is. So your objective, let's say, you know, in the example of the project where you are... Um, investigating the relationship between a given stent and myocardial infarction, the objective here uh, would be something fairly specific, but basically investigating uh, uh, the outcomes of that stent in relation to myocardial infarction. So again, it's, uh, you know, there's nothing magic about this uh, template. Uh, it's definitely not the only way of doing this. Uh, it might not be the best way of doing this, uh, but what I'm claim claiming here is that this sequence of significance, gap, literature review in support of the gap in objective is one way and uh, one way that works in practice.